We propose a general technique for adding interactivity to 3D printed objects by removing interior material to form pipes and cavities. By inserting a variety of media post-print, these can be used to sense input and generate output such as haptic feedback or illumination. We contribute PipeDream, a tool to aid makers in creating these kinds of interfaces. This tool is built into MeshMixer, a consumer 3D model editing software. To offer interactivity on the surface of objects, a 3D pipe routing algorithm can compute efficient paths that enable insertion of media, like wires, post-print. The algorithm proceeds in two steps. It first finds an A-star path on a voxel grid, and then refines that path with physical simulation. This mode supports the generation of multiple independent pipes, as well as a single pipe with a star topology. For each pipe, the user can choose a starting and ending radius, and, if desired, choose to cap the ends. This creates a membrane. Printed in a rubber-like material, it could be used for haptic feedback. Instead of specifying surface points, users may care about the internal path of their pipes, for example for neon art. Our tool computes a single continuous path from a user's input file. We perform some manipulations on this input to ensure that it is connected and has a single continuous path through it. We also allow the user to adjust the radius of the cut. Once we have a routing, we cut pipes from the mesh by voxelizing and sweeping cylinders along the routing. The object can then be printed. If necessary, support material is removed from the pipes and the desired medium can then be inserted to add interactivity to the printed object. Here we see a rabbit printed in flexible material that simulates breathing. We have one open pipe in his nose and one semi-closed pipe in his back. When we attach an air pump system, air flows out through his nose and his abdomen deflates. These are vocabulary learning toys. You set a toy in the base, then touch a structure, like the brain's motor cortex, and the computer tells you its name. Internally, the toys have pipes in a star topology filled with copper paint. They are sensed using swept frequency capacitive sensing. This smart pen holder knows which tools are present and which are absent. Pipes leading from the base into the bottom of each pen cup hold a fiber optic cable and terminate in an IR emitter detector. When the pen is in use, IR light escapes. When it's in the cup, IR light is reflected back. This radio lets users tune to different stations and change its volume. It's battery powered, so it's even portable. We have a series of tubes leading from the electronics on the front into an empty chamber in the bottom where the system is powered by an Arduino and a radio tuner breakout board. To show the sophistication of our tool's path following ability, we created a marble maze game. The path of the maze was defined by an SVG file and was automatically converted into a pipe by PipeDream. Also using the path following tool, we created a neon sign-like robot head. The robot has several segments of electroluminescent wire inserted that are controlled by an EL sequencer. PipeDream supports the integration of a wide range of input and output modalities and opens up many new opportunities for rapidly prototyping interactive objects.